kids really know how to play. When we get going here today, these will be the keys that each team will be paying special attention to all day long. After all that anticipation, we're underway. Hill receives the ball. Sideline inbound. The Hokies running their zone offense. Very effective because of the power on the glass. It opens up that opportunity for tips. The Yellow Jackets set up into their zone motion offense. And this is difficult because they understand how to take advantage of mismatches. Hill receives the pass. The Hokies now running the four around one. Must be alert on that defensive end because guys get pinned and they can step out and knock down the deep one. Alexander handles the pass. And of course, the conference standing. This is when you really want to excel. Conference play is what it's all about, Gus. Out on the right wing. Strips the ball. The Hokies in a hurry. Now they work it around the perimeter. Inside. When you can pass and score like he does, it makes a coach's job a bit easier. Because he can really put up points and find his teammates. A well around the player. He gets the rejection. The Yellow Jackets working, changing it up against the zone. And that's what makes them tough to defend. They understand how to take advantage of openings. On the outside. Look at that block. Terrific reaction. That goes out of bounds, but can stay at this end. This layup is definitely worth a second look. Gotta make those, guys. It's incredibly deflating when you don't. The Hokies now looking to run their stuff against this zone. And what they do is put it on the deck, creating the pinch, and then find the open guy. Cup it inside. The guile, the fortitude to pursue the rim. The Hokies, and they're in their motion offense, working with four around one. Well, if you have a big guy that can find people, it really puts a lot of pressure on the D. And no! Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, thanks for joining us tonight. Gus Johnson here, alongside Bill Raftery. The Yellow Jackets running their zone offense. And this particular offense is extremely tough because they get into the high-low look. Hill handles the feed. He fires away. And he can't get the bounce. Way out on the right wing. He shoots from the corner. Square up on the catch. Got his puppies in order. Look at the crowd, Raph. Talk about home court advantage. Talk about a tough place to play. They're on their feet. Jump shot. Perfect. Look at that block. Terrific. Haywood on the move. And he bangs it down. And we have a pause of the action. More NCAA basketball coverage in a moment.
And we're back, ready to get things going again after the timeout. The Hokies now running a zone offense. The impact very similar to their man-to-man. -man. They find the open guy. And a tip in. Those are effort points, no blockout. Those will kill you, capitalizing on miscues. The Yellow Jackets and now getting set up for a round one. If you don't help out, they just kill you. The Yellow Jackets set up into their zone motion often. And this is difficult because they understand how to take advantage of mismatches. On the left side, the Hokies in their four round one motion. Dribble drive, the ability to understand when to put it on the deck and when to screen. They work the perimeter. Fires. No. Great inside control. Out on the left wing. Looking for the bomb. Can't connect with the three-point line. And he's fouled. Too aggressive on defense here. He winds up with the bomb. Now you always get your hand reaching in, you get in trouble. Another great second-year player here, Bill. Underclassmen are a big key for any successful program. Because he's young, but he's been through his freshman year, and he's learned a lot. This is going to be another big season for him. Let's see how he does today. Makes the shot. The trap's in place, Rap. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the corner, but he misses his target. On the right side. And he lays it up and in. Wow, what a finish on that backdoor feed, Coach. Oh, because he caught the D sleeping a little bit.